Welcome back to uh, Let's Play. Oh, jeez. Let's play Metal Gear Solid. Okay. If you had seen the last episode, you'd see that. Well, oh, what the hell? This guy here, Donald Anderson, the Dar, the Darpa chief, is dead. Look at him. He's face down. Even better, he's planking. I don't know. But anyway, he died of a freaking heart attack. A heart attack. Can you believe that? And, well, someone just opened the door for us. So let's wander out there all willy-nilly and see if anything bad's about to happen. Don't move! Ah, shit. So you killed the chief, you bastard! We killed Kenny! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Oh, this shit's about to hit Open the Open that door! You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Okay, I'm gonna have to kill some guys now. This pistol's really gonna come in handy. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! Just do something, damn it! I'm telling you, shoot! Ah! Oh, there we go. Now she'll actually help out. And... I'm running low on ammo. Oh, there's some. That should be it. Oh, nope, not it. She's got one of them assault rifles. That should be. Oh shit, grenades. Oh, how did she survive that? Okay, now it's over. Thanks for the help. What? Wait! Who are you? Oh, we're having a vision. You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. So what the hell am I... Oh, you bitch! I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? 
It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Psychomantis? Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. I'm gonna save before we go anywhere. What's up, Snake? Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Also during the game, after events happen, you can go and call up the different people and they'll have different things to say. Sometimes it's informative or interesting, other times it's pointless. Let's give that a try now. Snake, Psycho Mantis has the power to read people's minds. He got the DARPA chief's detonation code. Hurry up or he'll get Baker's code too. That's right. If the terrorists get Baker's code, they'll be able to launch that nuke anytime they want. Yeah, they'll use Metal Gear to do it. Colonel, did you know they were conducting a military exercise here using Metal Gear? I didn't know. Really? Snake, you've got to understand. I'm just the middleman in this operation. Anyway, hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms tech president before the terrorists find out his code. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. And there is one more we can contact right now, but it's not saved. We find 141.52. Calls Nastasha Romanenko. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Okay, now that we've gone through all of the Kodak conversations, we can uh, talk a little bit about all the crap that we had just seen. Mostly about the stuff that Donald Anderson, the DARPA chief, was talking about. He has built, or he took part in the construction of something called Metal Gear. And if you're not familiar with like the mythos of the Metal Gear series, Metal Gear is a large, ooh, a toilet. A large, nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. It can basically fire nuclear weapons from almost any terrain in the world. And, I mean, it's a kind of an end-of-the-world weapon. Now, apparently, they were building a Metal Gear in this facility up in Alaska. And that's what the terrorists were after. The terrorists wanted the Metal Gear. And, well, basically, they're getting what they want. They damn near have, they just need the launch codes. Now, here's a problem with this area. This is the, called the Armory. If you put your thermal goggles on, you will see... What's this? Oh, what's that red thing on the ground? It is a trap door, so check this out. If you don't... If you stop on top of that, you will fall through and die. Simple as that. Let's, uh... Oh, level 5. C4. Okay, level 1. This is what we want. 
C4, C4. Now we have C4, a new type of weapon. It can also be used to plant explosives. See, check this out. See that? It's busted up. And, well, remember the DARPA chief said that didn't have enough time to paint over all the entrances? Well, this is one of those entrances. And this is where the C4 comes in handy. Watch this. C4 is set, so now we'll run a good safe distance away, and watch it go boom. Oh, and now we have a way through. Awesome. Sadly, Kenneth Baker, the arms tech president, is not located in here. So we're going to have to find another one. It will be down this way. There's another one down this way. You see that? There's another one. Plant the bomb. Run away. And we can go through. What do we have in here? Just chaff grenades. Nothing useful. Okay, and let's go down to the bottom. Don't worry about enemies in this area right now. There are none here. Ooh, level one. What do we have in here? Grenades. Grenades, yes. These are traditional grenades. Pineapple grenades, I imagine. And unlike the unlike the chaff grenades that we were using before, these explode and they can kill enemies. Very nice. Okay, here's an, an open door. Nothing in there we can use though. And down here, Famous requires a two. We can't go through there yet. Now, down here, you'll see the door. Security level 4. We do not have access to go through this door yet. And that's unfortunately where Kenneth Baker is. But, in this way, we have a, well, a wall we can break through. And we can get through. And here we are. Okay, we're in another room here. See, the radar is jammed. We can't use the radar now. Another wall to blow open. Boom! Now, notice there are two walls in here. One here, and one here. So, I'm going to blow this one up. It's my last one C4, though, so... That's it. Now through this door, we're going to find Kenneth Baker, but I don't want to have this episode go on too long, so I'm going to end this episode here, and in the next one we'll go through that door and try and rescue the Armstead President.